according to hip hop, man, you know, I was watching it. They got into the argument again, of course, of the Kendrick first, you know, or I mean, well, you know, it was they were really talking about J. Cole. Does J. Cole have a classic album? Um, you know, and I and uh B Dog, I know since you the resident J. Cole stan, I want to me, know that's me. Yeah, man. How many classic albums do you think he got? Two. Two. All right. What what are the two? And then now okay. we're gonna get the opinion of a normal, rational person. Two? And if we beep count beep. Friday Night Lights, three. Beep beep. So. Two and oh, wait, so three. He got three, you saying. If you count Friday Night Lights, it's three. Where it, it, where it, it, where it, it, where it, it, where it, where it, it. Baldy, why, why you feel like you don't got none? Because this, you got the majority I, of them. Because I ain't heard them. Because I ain't heard them. That's why. <laughs> where they at? So what do you got to talk do, about, man? What do you got to do to have uh for you to have a classic album? Because I mean, what is it um, that he's so doing that's not let me good enough? Nah, for you? look, I I never. I have his albums have not stood the test of time for me. Again, you know, I don't, you know, and I don't think that they're those those classic bodies of work with just non ending bangers. Um, I, I can't, I, I don't know what to say, man. I never, I've never been overly impressed with J. Cole's lyrical ability uh, until recently, really. Mm -hmm. Um, and I haven't, none of his albums held me to that to that extent. Um, that I would deem it a classic. I just so uh, Leroy, I, I post the, the the link in the chat. Hopefully you, you got it. Uh, like I said, once you end the Discord, I just want you got to click on one of the voice channels, and then when you're in the voice channel, I can pull you into the show. All right, uh, but B, I know because one of the videos we had, you went back and listened to Friday Night Lights, and you were like, I listened to it the first time in a long time, and it was dope. So isn't yep. that what a classic is? You go back to it and it's it's still great. Yeah, that's, if that's what you wanted to 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 say was a classic, um, okay. I I have to give that some more spins. I mean, it's not like yes, I went back and listened to it that time, and then I still haven't continued to go back to it. Uh, but I did for a little bit afterwards, so maybe you know. Again, I, I think that hits y'all different than it hits me. It's just. I don't know what it is, but when the time, when it came out, when he came out, it, it did not grab me like that. Yeah, Leroy, you already are. You are part of the Discord. So all you got to do is open your Discord, man. If you open your Discord app, if you have the app on, on your phone or if you have it, uh, you could also go through the, you know, web. But if you if you get, uh, you don't know uh, how to get to your Discord app, man, I, then I don't know. I don't know how to help. We'll ske yeah, man, we can, look, we can schedule it have, when this Yeah, is, we'll have uh, to get you on another release. time. When you put this on the Spotify or whatever, I don't like Spotify, so I don't use them, but when you put this on whatever thing is going to be at, then we'll make sure to we'll, we'll make sure that all of these subs, we got so many subs to broadcast <laughs> you out to, hold 365 subs. And so incredible oh, growth here. Up. This is how you're gonna build your audience, of course, because where don't don't this is what are we, zero. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. did we end last year with? All right, so uh, but okay, numbers. we gotta put a graph out for the people. No, because I want I want to talk about this though, because B, you're saying that the album's still dope years later. Isn't that what? All right, so you're saying that because you don't want to go back to it, does. For something to be classic, does that mean you have to, you personally have to want to go back to it? Because, like, I listen to a lot of albums in hip-hop that are considered classic, right? There's a ton of mm -hmm. music, right? We just talked about mm -hmm. 50 years of hip-hop. We, we mm -hmm. you know, when we started this podcast, we were going through old albums, what's classic, what's not. You know, I, I don't, I don't really, haven't felt the need to go back and listen to the all of LL's radio. But when we listened to it, I thought it was a good album. Right? We all did, didn't we? And we were like, oh, mm, this is classic. Yes. So I think that's two different things. So one thing is these early albums are going to get this this status because they, they broke ground on things. Okay? I don't know what that is for J. Cole. So you're telling me that there was some brown groundbreaking stuff that I never heard before? I'm going to tell you there wasn't. Okay, um, that's fair. If that's you're gonna fair. tell me that he had these big hits, that's 
that stick with me and I want to hear them over and over. I mean, we they do have levels to things. So you could say some things are like super classics, like of course, like I don't know, like the list, the chronic or something like that, right? Something I listen to from time to time, no, every year. Um, some of my other personal favorite albums, like The Listening, which basically doesn't go a month probably without getting some burning miles, mm-hmm. like on my car, like these type of things, like that. It's it's not that now that might be that for y'all. There's other lower level classics that I listen to uh, every year, uh, uh, or you know every few months, like Into the Stage, um, you know albums like that that I personally love, that I listen to consistently um this ain't none of those so i'm not sure where it's you know at the time it was released it was not like that for me it's not like that for me now it hasn't been since then for y'all it probably was yeah exactly well that part that's the part i was gonna bring up yeah for us uh maybe you know in a different generation it it was and um, Leroy, I, I see you in the in the Discord. We're gonna pull you in in just a, in just a moment. So, uh, but the thing is, to me, is like I feel like is is a classic. If it, then it, then the classic is for many many younger kids. I still listen, you know, even kids in my my classroom, right, my high school kids. They when I I can't put on a lot of my music, right, because I listen to a lot of older stuff. But when I put on for Sills Drive, all the kids are like, for several of the songs, they're like, oh, this is my jam. Oh, they, you know, I always skip Wet Dreams in the class because I don't want to, like, I don't want to listen to that. And, you know, but they always are like, oh, like, that's the jam, you know, like, don't skip that one. I'm like, no, I'm skipping it. Uh, and then, you know, uh, No Role Models, of course, like, so, so, there are a lot of these, these songs that are undisputable hits for a whole generation of people. How do, so how is it not a classic? Is my is my issue. It might be, but that's fine. That might be a classic. I, I couldn't tell you. Just like people tell me every day, I got or uh, when I was the teacher, children would tell me how great NBA Young Boy is, and I turned his music on and I thought it was garbage. <laughs> now I don't turn on cold music and think it's garbage, but uh, you know. People tell me that all the time. People tell me Nicki Minaj is a good rapper. I, I've I've yet to hear it. Um, so I'm I'm. <laughs> I saw that interview with her and Joe Button, and she was just like, "Of course, I have like three classics, and people go crazy to hear the Pink Print and whatever, whatever." And I'm like, "Okay, like, <laughs> what do I know? If you say so." So with the cold thing, I respect them. Like those songs. Remember when they came out? They never was that level to me. So. If that's what it is, cool. If you're gonna say that it's a classic based on this genera- uh your generation, some younger generations, then that's fair. Like that's fine. I, I won't I won't argue with you about that. Mm-hmm. No, I, I get you. I hear you. Uh, B dog, what, what you what you think? Because I mean, what what are your thoughts on it? Because obviously you are the fan. So how it do you define? It? I don't know, man. Because I think. Classics are, I think it's easy to tell what's a classic, honestly. And I don't know if people give Jake, I feel like I'm too close to the situation to see if J. Cole's actually getting those flowers because I always am going to give them those flowers. So I feel like 2014 Forest Hills Drive, I feel like is a classic. I feel like everyone, I feel like a lot of people recognize it as a classic. I don't get that. I never did. I gotta look at the track list again, man. I don't that album is just not it to me. So this is this is my thing. This is why it's so funny to me because like I can say that we said this about even like even songs like even albums like uh, "Get Rich or Die Trying" is an album that I, I everyone says is one of the greatest albums of all time. If I look at the track list, it's not that to me, right? It's not that. No, I think I think too many people see that. This is my thing with some of these albums too. What is a big hit don't mean it's a classic. So I think people be like, oh, man, In the Club was on, on, or you heard that that 50 album everywhere. You did. Mm-hmm. But you ain't mm-hmm. hit every song on that album. And when you did, I thought certain people was lame for playing certain songs on that album. Like, yeah. that song is lame. And then a lot of it has gotten worse over time. Like, it sounded worse than it did when it even came out to me. Yeah. Like, I, I definitely don't ever want to hear uh, Patiently Waiting. 
Like, you know, these are the type of songs people was hyped about. Um, I like so I like a lot of songs on this album, man, but I I don't know what song on here is something that's like, I'm gonna turn this song on and it's not gonna I, I have to listen to it over and over and it'll never come off my playlist. Yeah. Like, so you like, like that about what? Like G O M D? Fire Squad? G O M D is a great song, yeah. Uh um uh, let me mm-hmm. pull up the track list. I like I, I, I mean, Role Models is great. No it's role played models. out now, but that was uh, a great. I never okay. All right. I never I loved love no role models. <laughs> Wet dreams. Uh, I hate that song. I could never listen to that ever again. Love yours. Um I'm gonna say apparently it's cool. I don't hate apparently. I, I like this apparently as much and as I everybody don't ever want to hear that. Plays. Say it again. So I'm trying, say it again. I, like uh, I, I don't like this album as much as everyone else does, but the songs that I don't like, everyone else loves. Mm. So I'm like, fuck. If I like everything else and then y'all like the other stuff, I guess it has to be a classic because then there's okay. Culture. That's how I feel about it. But I hate all of these feel good songs. I don't care about. Wet dreams, love yours. I hate those songs personally. I don't ever want to hear them. But Agreed. A lot Agreed. of people love those songs. Agreed. So I, okay, interesting. If, if that's how you're gonna judge it, the songs that I like, I hate, everyone else likes, then that's gonna add a lot more classics if I if I go by that type of metric because there's there's a lot of to me there's a lot of albums like that. The songs that are popular, I think, are are stupid and garbage, and I don't want to hear them. Um, and then there'll be other songs on there that I really like and I think are underrated. So, um, that's fair. Like I said, I don't. I'm not gonna stand up here and like fight you to the death over it. You say the classic, I'm gonna say, okay, cool, man. I, I disagree. Of course, and and listen, you're not you're not uh you're not the only one. Like when like I said, this there was a poll on according to hip hop the other day, and and the majority of people said it was not a classic. So this is my my thing. This is why I thought it was an interesting discussion. Because it's his most her- her- you know heralded album. It's the one that the mm. mainstream publications uh, and such would say is his classic. Uh, you know, I think Born Center is better than this. Me too. Or I always Personally. remember Born uh, Center more fondly than this. One hundred percent. I remember when this came out, being it excited, hearing it, and thinking that was cool. Um, and then I remember when Born Center came out, I, and I was uh, very, I listened to that more. It stuck with me longer. And so I, I don't understand why when certain artists, people pick certain albums, you know, that they hype up. I don't love, uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. People will swear yeah. it's just one of Kanye's the top one or two albums. Yeah. I, yeah, I think it's just, I, and the songs that people love, like B-Dog was saying, I don't like. <laughs> like uh, I'm like, all right, I guess those if y'all love those songs, like I say it's okay. Um, you know, volume two is like this for G Jigga. You know? Like, right. And we we went like, through Jay Z. We'll swear that song's great. And yeah, I we went through Jay Z's whole discography and uh, you know, in in on this podcast, and we there's a lot of things people call classic that we didn't consider classic. And this is my issue with the whole concept of classic. That's my thing. It's just it, it's a it, classic. It, it you know it feels like the word we move the goalposts on what it is a lot, and so it seems like when an artist is uh, you know loved by the media or loved by you know like you said their crossover albums like Leroy is saying when they have this kind of crossover album, then it's heralded in history as a classic. And when it's not, when it's some underground, a more underground person or someone maybe less loved by the media, uh, J. Cole is a little bit less loved in, in the, by the masses than, say, Kendrick is or, say, than some others are. Uh, I would definitely say by the media he is. I, I don't know about, I don't know if he has less fans, but the media definitely hypes up Kendrick way too right. And so he'll get less classics. Whereas Kendrick, some people yeah. say Kendrick got five classics or something like that. Some people say well, wild okay, things. But about. So yes, that's completely ridiculous. Because I, I don't think Kendrick has all those classics. Yeah, I think he has two. So Ew. Ew. I would what say section eighty. Oh, okay. And Good Kid. See? Um okay. and I and I would get that section eighty is the lower one of the two from uh, most section people. eighty is my favorite of his though. <laughs> but I was about to say, I, 
I think I think the songs across the two that I want to hear are about equal, mm-hmm. as far as ones that stick around with me. Like, so you know, but people talk about damn, like it's so great, and I'm like, this is not. There's like four songs on there I like on there. So I, you know, I don't I don't understand some of that. Of course, we got you know these other albums that came out that was trash. Like uh, what's it called? Miss um, Morale. And yeah. T-Pab is boring as hell. I don't ever want to hear that. I haven't really listened to that probably since that month it came out. And then when people tried to bring it back. When uh, yeah. Nancy Pelosi and them was taking a knee a couple years ago, you know, um, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. And that's something that people will call a classic. And that album, you talking about Imperial Set said that for it was born AF. To me, there's a, a album that's born in existence. It's yeah. to Pippa Butterfly, it's and yeah. and then you know I, I appreciate. I want to shout out to everybody that's in the chat. You know, we got some people in here. I appreciate the discussion. Hey, so cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, you know, and, and so I agree with like the things like Imperial says, you know, uh, Carter three is not a classic to me. I hate that album. It's to me, that's, that's the start of Wayne's fall off. Carter one and Carter oh. two are way better albums of his, you know? And then, um, you know, that's a great example. That's a great example. Right. So that's one of the, that's one of the worst ones. People will swear that that album's great. And I'm like. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it when it, I, I liked a bunch of songs on it when it came out, but not like y'all. Yeah. Right. So, and Leroy said it too. People don't judge these off of music classes, off music. They judge it off impact. And that's my issue with right. the whole. It oh, matters too, though, to me. It does matter. Impact it does matter. matter. It does matter. Impact matters, man. I know it's not a, it's easy to say it don't matter because it's not the music itself, but the impact does matter. And it, and it, I, I know because look, some of my favorite albums of the last ten years have very little impact. Um, and, and that's so my problem, I, though. I guess exactly. how that could be penalizing. But dude went platinum, like I, he has impact, right? Isn't that's my platinum? that's no my point. Things, like first week or whatever, second week, something like that. Yeah. And and no role model has like you know billions of streams. So my my point is, it's a super hit, right? It's not just like a hit; it's a super yeah, hit. You, stop, you turn that on anywhere, people will be like. What's the first line, Uncle Phil, or whatever? Yeah, first things first, first, first piece Uncle Phil. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so my point is, to yeah. me, in this era, like in the in the past era, you know, when you had a Source magazine and something like that, we talk about this a lot. You had a, a central body that was saying, you know, these are classics and these are not. Today, when rap fans are are arguing about it in the in the modern area era, when when it's to me. J. Cole doesn't have a shot because he's not as loved by the media. Uh, or Big Crit doesn't have a shot. Any of the underground people, Sky Zoo, uh, so many of nah. these people that we love, they don't have a shot like they would have in, in past generations. So yeah, it's not it's, fair. It's not the same either, man. It's not the same. It's it's we so spread out now, man. Exactly. Like so impact is man. like so, how we used to live together. And yeah. now we live all over the country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we gotta get on airplanes to see each other. Um, if that's what we want to do, you know, that's how it is. So, so hip hop in total to come together and call something a classic. When's the last time that happened? I feel like that happened in 2018. I think it was when Daytona came out. Um, yeah. Yeah. since then, I'm trying to think of which one would it would it be. I think people kind of got there for um when Alfredo came out. I was about to say Alfredo was that. I would say I would say you people know. people did that with uh, the Forever Story. Gee, that's the last album that I feel like was universally loved. Uh, okay, it, did get I mean, a lot it was. Love, I didn't yeah. I didn't think I felt that same thing, but we are more dispersed now. So I don't think it's that many times though where we had the whole like when the source came out, the lanes were just so much. When the source was a thing, the lanes were so many so less so much, so much yeah. less lanes. So mm-hmm. yeah, of course it's easy to get a consensus on yo. This is the dope like. Into the stage wouldn't be a classic now, um, right. impact wise, because people would be like, nobody would hear that basically, right? Um, and that's my so, problem. I mean, that's a thing. Well, but J Cole has impact, so I don't think that that's the issue. But we start when we started the discussion. You said J Cole got zero. Bryce said he got three, and that's my point. Is that the 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 consensus is so far apart now? Uh, I mean, and like Brian said, in these the chat, songs are whack. Like we talked about these songs, like these songs are whack. I don't want to hear wet dreams. Um, <laughs> but they're not whack to everybody. There's a lot of people um, who love that. 
<laughs> let them love it. Like I said, so my, my uh, thing about the album not being a classic is these songs are whack. Like three or four of these songs, I don't ever want to hear again. I never liked them. It, you know, it's not like I changed my opinion as it's gotten older. Yeah, yeah. I don't think really any of these holds up poorly. I think we um, we all agree like, with like that. I liked though. it before and it got lamer. So, and y'all agree with those. That's why I would say I'm not a classic. To me, you get to multiple skips and it's just not, you can't say that. And but I, the impact can be huge. That's like, like so we say when Get Richard Die Trying, the impact is ginormous. It, that's and it, like mm-hmm. a supernova. But right. half the songs are in the way. And that's, uh, well, I mean, the, 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 uh, definition I always use was the you know no skips or you know no more than one or two skips. To me, that's the definition I use. But to me, that's not the definition that's being used anymore. Uh, but uh, we've been talking about this for a minute. We gotta pull uh, Leroy in. He's been waiting on us, so uh, let me uh, Leroy. I'm pulling you in now, and 